I can imagine Brizhnikov flying across the stage, and he does it with such grace. It's like it took nothing at all, and yet I know he practiced very hard. He, his muscles hurt. He probably wept and sweat with the pain and soaked his feet in ice, and yet there's such grace and beauty in his helping us believe that flying is possible. And as a person alive on this planet, I want to reach human potential the way he wants to fly through the air. And so we have to work out. We have to get up every morning and work on our hearts and our souls and our minds and our bodies and our spirits and our creativity in order to give the appearance of flying. How does one work out one's soul? <laughs> the creativity. How do you work out creativity? I suppose it depends on what your goals are, but for me, I wanted to learn how to create music in particular that had storytelling weaved into the music and the rhythm of it in the form of lyrics that reflected something more than my own experience. Not that my own experience isn't a, a good one, but it's limited in relationship to the world experience. And if I were going to choose to be a troubadour, which I ended up doing, a storyteller, someone who was out in the world with music, and music is so powerful and so effective. My, my life has been substantially changed by music. So I like to take responsibility for the fact that the music I make, the things that I say, are going to touch people. And it may touch them in a positive way or a negative way. And as much as I can help make sure it's a positive way, that's part of my work as an artist. I know there's artists who say, oh, I'm apolitical. I don't want anything to do with that stuff. It's not my responsibility. Fine. I just, I just find that a boring perspective. I find it uh, cowardly 